Today's tale is another of a more personal nature and involves a curious experience I had when I was in my early 20s involving an uncanny premonition. I was living in Brisbane, Australia, sharing a house with two other people. For the purposes of this video, we shall refer to them as Jack and Louise, as their real identities aren't necessary for the story. Both Jack and Louise own dogs. Louise owned a beautiful female German Shepherd with strong protective maternal instincts, while Jack's dog was a slow elderly golden retriever who seldom reacted to much of anything. The German Shepherd would bark at the mere mention of a possible intruder, whereas the golden retriever wouldn't budge for much. One time, I had to pick him up and get him out of the way when an angry poisonous snake crossed his path. He either didn't notice it, or he just didn't care. One day, around 2002, I had planned to spend the day with my girlfriend. There was nothing particularly unusual about the day that I can recall. I had no obvious reason to feel different to normal, but for some bizarre reason, I began to feel a strange sense of nervous tension throughout the day. My girlfriend noticed this about me too, and I began to share with her that I had begun feeling a strange sense of foreboding. For no logical reason, I was convinced that something bad was about to happen, and no matter how much I tried to shake it off, I just couldn't. The feeling grew worse as the day wore on. As I explored these feelings and questioned my sanity, I realized that the strange instinct was centered around the golden retriever. I began to have thoughts of him dying or being hurt. I shared with my girlfriend that I was worried that something bad was going to happen to this dog and I had no explanation as to why. When she dropped me off home later that night, my anxiety was at peak level and I expressed to her that I was dreading going home. Maybe it was just because I had grown attached to this dog and his oafish clumsiness and maybe his age led me to believe that his end was inevitably drawing near. But either way, that night I went to bed feeling unsettled, and I began to have a dream. In the dream, I was outside my home, hiding behind a tree. I could see that there was a figure lurking on my property, a few meters away from me. In a strange way, I was stalking the stalker, hoping he wouldn't turn around suddenly and realize I was there. The dream came with a sense of stress and dread, as if what I was watching was somehow real. Suddenly, the sound of breaking glass shattered my sleeping state. I heard the gruff deep bark of the golden retriever from down the hallway and his paws scraping against the wooden floorboards. I gingerly got myself out of bed and turned on the light, slowly opening my door and meeting my flatmate in the hall. She too had been ripped from her sleep by the sound of breaking glass. When we finally made it to the living room, there was the golden retriever growling at the back door with fragments of glass in his nose. This dog that had been the most docile and uninterested dog I had ever known was suddenly in full beast mode, guarding the sliding door to the outside garden. Something was obviously outside, and this dog wasn't going to let it near us. The glass on the door was broken, a spider web of cracks rippling from the hole in the center where the dog's nose had impacted the glass. We surmised that he had sensed the intruder and made a run for the door, probably scaring whatever it was away. After cleaning the heroic dog's wound, I went back to bed puzzled over the events. Somehow, the day before this took place, I knew something was about to happen. I knew that it had something to do with this dog, and I dreamt that someone was lurking outside, and I could see them approaching the house. And then this otherwise docile elderly dog tried to protect its humans by attempting to run through the closed door. What happened that night still puzzles me. What was so significant about that night that I got a heads up the day before? Why have I never had an experience like this either before or since? As a religious person, I'm compelled to believe that maybe God or an angel was trying to warn me of the danger I was about to face. And what could that danger have been to rouse the long forgotten strength of this old canine? Has anything like this ever happened to you? Have you felt something was about to happen and then it did? Have you had a dream that something was going down to discover it actually was? Please let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to share your story by clicking on the link in the description. And until next time, be kind to dogs.